Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to find the broken images on the web page. So let's begin. For this tutorial, I will be using a Internet Heroku app. For that, let me go to the browser here and you need to search for Internet Heroku app. And here, so basically you will find these broken images. Click on this one and here you find these broken images. And if I right click on this one, click on inspect here, go to network tab here and now reload this page so you will see that these are the broken images and it says 404 right so in order to find the broken images using the playwright escape we need to find all the images and we need to ensure that the status is not 200 so if the status is 200 this means that they are not broken okay so based on this strategy let's go to the visual studio code here and let me create one new file here I'm naming it as broken images dot spec dot js and the first thing is that we need add ts check and then we need const because we need a cypress test so const then we need test and then we need expect here which is equals to require then what is required here we need a playwright test because we are writing a playwright test okay now the first thing is that with the test method here we need so what is the title of this test so find broken images test okay and we will be using a a sync here and we need to invoke a page here so page and now followed by basically so if I go here so this will be followed by a callback arrow function so this is our arrow function and now inside this we have to write our code okay and the first thing is that we need to navigate right so let me add the comment side as well so get to the web page so in order to go this await page dot go to and here we need to provide the url of the application so let me copy this url from here and let me go back here and provide the url now once we have on this url but i will lose that there can be different okay. but the strategy i will be using is that i will intercept the network call so by intercepting means that uh, the playwright has the ability to in intercept these calls so these are the on the network calls right so what i lose that so let me go here and let me add a comment so what we'll do that i will enable network interruption interruption okay and here simply await await page and the method we use is that the route okay and inside this route method we need to provide double static then forward slash static and comma then in brackets we need to use we need to pass the route and after that followed by basically a callback arrow function and the body of the arrow function and here what we'll do is that route dot continue method will be used and besides that what we'll do is that we'll catch so catch and here you see that the catch is the callback to execute when the promise is rejected okay and once i will do this again i will use a arrow function here and i will try to catch here okay and here we will close this one and after that 
we also need to close the main function here and I get the braces and the small bracket and terminate it. So await page.route, then route this one and the curly braces route dot continue dot catch then the catch so we have missed a bracket here and yeah so now we are good to go with the route so now we have enabled the network interruption so now what i'll do is that i will use a page that evaluate to identify and count the broken images okay so use page dot evaluate evaluate to identify the images and count broken one okay so count broken images so uh, i will create a variable and i'm naming it as broken broken images and here i will be using await await page dot evaluate and async and here inside the async again we use uh we need to use our arrow function and the body of the arrow function okay and what i need to do is that i need to get all the images and save it somewhere okay so what i will do is that const const i'm naming it as images and because there are more than one images so i will use array dot from and document dot query selector all and i need to query all the images and this query will execute on the html level so i will give here as a image tag here okay and here it will give me all the images now i will create one more array here so simply const and i'm naming it as broken images list okay and initially i'm leaving it as an empty one and as soon as i find any uh, any broken image i will put or push this here in this particular array okay now uh, what i'll do is that i will using a loop now so i will loop through all the images here in order to find which are the broken so through the loop i will go to the first image second image third image and inside the loop what i'll do is that i will check either the status is is not equal to 200 okay so here for const image of images so i have to traverse through the images okay and here the loop body here and const now uh, response is equals to i'm creating one more here and await fetch so fetch will be used to for the request you see so fetch now fetch what i'm fetching the image dot source i need a source and comma then curly braces and i'm using this through a method and the method is basically a head so h e a d and then i will use a catch method here again and in a small bracket catch 
then add a function and null okay and i'm closing this one here now what i'm doing is that i'm looping in i'm trying to fetch the images the source and and here the method would be ahead okay in simple words now inside this loop i'm using the if here and i'm saying if response is not or response is yes pause is not and response dot status and status should not be equal to 200 okay if this is the case then what what we need to do i need to push it this into the my broken image list okay so broken image list dot push and what i'm pushing i'm pushing image source image dot source okay and once i will do this now i have to return this one okay so return broken image list okay so so far what we did is that we have extract we have we have actually find all the images and from all the images we are finding the one which are having the status which is not equal to 200 and for that we need a proper source of the image okay and we are pushing that into our broken images list here so after that now what i'll do is that i need to print all the things here okay in order to print this one so print broken images details okay and for that what i do is that console dot log and here i need to use this sign and inside this one i will say total broken images colon and here dollar sign then here broken images dot length length will give me all how much um, they are the actually basically it will give us the count in short okay and right and now um then again console dot log and here we need a broken images so i'm typing something here so basically so broken images and here i need the names as well so with the count i also need the names so so that it would be easier for the developer to fix this one so images names colon okay and here obviously there are multiple images for that i need to run a for loop so for const source of broken images and here there is the body so here inside this one so console dot log so source has all these details so let me save this one and let me go here and let me navigate so it's a spelling mistake navigate navigate okay and the script looks fine to me and there are some additional brackets here which i need to move here and there's no other errors here now let's run this one so simply npx playwright test 
and I'm using through the test name and the test name is basically find broken images test and I will be using a headed mode to execute this one. So let's run this one and see what happens. So I should go to the website and obviously we are using the loops here so it might take some time in order to count this one. So our test got executed here and let me scroll a bit up here. So our test case is passed successfully. There are total broken images two and broken images names are this one so let's go to the application itself and see either this is correct or not so asdf.jpg asdf.jpg this is a broken one and then hjkl.jpg hjkl.jpg and we have correctly identified the number of broken images and we also have the names of those images which are broken thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial